Hello possums, working on the inner bailey of the Hardcore Castle again today and I'm starting this build the same way I started the last one, digging down. Today's project is the kitchens and most of its associated rooms which includes a lot of storage. Now initially all cooking would have been done in the hall on the central half. But as time went on that cooking process was moved away to a separate space and then to a separate building. The story of the kitchen is part of the story of the increasing isolation of the Lord from his people, which I might rant about at another time. I blame the Normans, by the way, what a shock. The preparation of food shifted from being a centralized activity to one that was sequestered away. And once the idea of a kitchen was established, it wasn't long before it was placed as far from the Lord and his chambers as possible. This was done to keep away the smells and the noise, but also to keep away the potential hazard of fire, which is why our kitchen is on the other side of the bailey from the great chamber and why there is another building between the kitchen and the hall. Now, there should be footage of me building the actual kitchens and the other buildings, but guess which replay mod recording didn't save? So instead you get a really good look at the underground storage rooms that were essential for keeping food as fresh as possible for as long as possible and for safeguarding those foods and beverages that were considered more valuable than the people preparing and serving them. And wow, this, <laughs> this is giving rise to mixed feelings in me, getting rid of our wooden castle. It has served us long and well but it's getting a bit worn, getting a bit shabby and ultimately being replaced by the stone castle. So time for it to go. Ah, uh, wow. That has completely transformed this space. <laughs> wow, I'm, I still contend that I've made the inner bailey too small, but that's really opened it up <laughs> it's a lot bigger than it was. <laughs> uh, enough of the hysterical mm. laughter. Let's let's have a look at the kitchens. Let's see what I've done. So we'll go to the main kitchen building later. But first, we'll start with this one. Now you saw me digging the underground storage for this. Let's have a look at it. Uh, we'll come in this way. There are two doors. Now I've just done some rudimentary decorations just quickly just so there's something in here and something in the other rooms they're not finished it's just to give you a general idea this room is the buttery nothing to do with butter everything to do with butts which are barrels I mean you've probably heard of a rain butt large barrel put under a downpipe these are butts they generally contain alcohol for the people who aren't good enough to be sitting at the high table and in the top part of the hall. This is the drink for everyone else. So it might be ale or it might be lower quality wines, things like that. I mean, you'll remember George Duke of Clarence drowned in a mamsy butt well. Executed in 1478, purported to be drowned in a mamsy butt certainly what Shakespeare says in Richard III, Malmsey was a lower class Madeira wine. So given that George Duke of Clarence was in line to the throne, was brother to the king, that's an ignominious end. So this is the buttery. Now if we come down here, this is the bottlery where the bottles are kept of the good stuff, the stuff that's for the high table, the stuff that's for the top half of the hall. There should be racks in here for me to put bottles in. There isn't. This is vanilla. At the moment, there's nothing stored in any of these, but I'm thinking of putting bottles in here. I mean, I may as well, it's the bottlery. If I ever get to the nether, if I ever get up the courage to go to the nether, this is hardcore, remember. <laughs> I want to get a castle built. If ever I get to the nether and I'm able to start brewing, I'll be storing my potions in here. Now, the bottlery was looked after by a servant called the bottler. And if we come up here, the buttery 
was looked after by a servant called the butler. You ever wondered where that word came from? This is where it came from. It was the guy who controlled access to the alcohol for the people who weren't good enough to sit in the top half of the hall. Butler's now quite a posh position. It certainly wasn't to start with. The bottler was far more posh than the butler. Although in some households, the bottler and the butler were a position filled by one person. Okay, so let's now run round to this little door because this, hello cat, yeah, I've put cats in each of the rooms to take care of mice. We don't want rodents. This is the pantry. This is where you keep bread and other bready type products. And the pantry was cared for by a servant called the Pantler. I kid you not. And why was it called the pantry? Because the Latin word for bread is pan. It was the room where you kept the bread. Now we've got storage up here. I'm thinking of making this the storage for grain and wheat. Although I might shift the grain and wheat down here and put the bread storage up here, I'm not sure. I might do a separate building for a granary. Again, I'm not sure, I've got to decide. You could have a separate building. You could have it stored with the other foodstuffs. A separate granary is probably more likely, so I might sneak one in here, we'll see. We've got some quite flammable buildings to go in in that corner, so I don't want the granary near them. So that leads us to the actual kitchens. And there's more storage, but we'll talk about that. So here are the kitchens, nice and big. The beams are starting to be discolored by all the smoke. We've got a very big stove here in the center where things can be cooked on this stone. We've got some little ovens for baking, just for doing small runs of things. We've got great big fireplaces with spits. This one's got a cauldron hanging from it where they can make soup. A poor old spit boy, well, a young spit boy would have to sit here and turn the spit, dealing with all the heat and the fat and all the rest of it. We've got a stone sink for washing things. The scullions would wash these. Eventually, the sink got shifted to a separate room called a scullery. And over time, scullions became scullery maids. That's a long way in the future. We've got scullions still doing their jobs in, whoops, in the 15 and 1600s. I've got some basic storage in here that's for my convenience more than anything else. But that's, that's the start of our kitchen. As I said, this is just rudimentary decoration at the moment. If we come down here, we've got the larder. Now the larder is for perishable foods. It's where you'd keep the meat. It's where you'd keep the butter. It's, I suspect it's where you kept the lard. It was called the larder because initially meat was covered in fat or lard to preserve it. That was called larding the meat. And you keep your larded meat in the larder. So this is the larder. And it's underground because it's a better way of keeping it cool. And yes, completely stoned. Again, to keep things cool, to aid preservation. And in here, we have a locked room. I've got the key from the steward. This room is for uh, metal utensils, uh, for precious things, and for extra precious foodstuffs, particularly spices. Now again, the steward has lent me the key to this. This is our spice chest. See, we've got some in there already. You think lapis came a long way and was expensive coming all the way from Afghanistan. Some of these spices have come even further. They came from India or from China. They came a long way. They were very expensive. And they were literally kept under lock and key and books were kept as to how much had been used. Very carefully guarded because spice is a real investment. Now, the kitchens would have been the space that employed the most number of people in the castle. You'd have a lot of people working here to get meals ready, to get feasts ready, 
to ensure everything ran smoothly and everyone had what they needed to eat. Or in the case of the Lord, what they wanted to eat. So you're doing all your meal prep in here. There's a feast in the hall. You come out these doors carrying your plates. You go under this covered walkway, which is called a pentis, P-E-N-T-I-C-E. -E. You bring the food here into the buttery and through these doors and into the great hall. You serve the high table first and then everyone else is served in order from the front of the hall down to the back. And then when everything's said and done, the scullions get to stand here and clean up. And by the way, that could be drained probably into a ditch outside on the other side of the curtain wall. Now as to the pantry, as to the making of bread, there is a whole other side to that. And I think that we will dedicate next episode to the making of bread in a medieval castle. So there's end cards on the screen to some more of my videos. Have a look maybe at how this whole castle started. And if you've made it this far, tell me which job you would like in a castle kitchen. Bye.